sounding name because of a call I received from a member of the Willowbrook staff, Dr. Michael Wilkins. The doctor told me he'd just been fired because he'd been urging parents with children in one of the buildings, building number six, to organize so they could more effectively demand improved conditions for their children. The doctor invited me to see the conditions he was talking about, so unannounced and unexpected by the school administration, we toured building number six. The doctor had warned me that it would be bad it was horrible. There was one attendant for perhaps 50 severely and profoundly retarded children. Children. Lying on the floor naked and smeared with their own feces, they were making a pitiful sound. A kind of mournful wail that it's impossible for me to forget. More money would certainly help. At least the kids would have clothes and they'd be cleaner than they are now. But they'd still basically be human vegetables in a detention camp. What we need is a new approach. We have to change the way we care for our mentally retarded. We ask for change, we demand change. What you've seen here just doesn't have to be this way. 